Time to wake up. That brown skin you got is not a curse, it's a blessing. Hosea 4, 6 comes in, where he says that my people perish for lack of knowledge. Why? Because they reject knowledge. And because you reject his knowledge, and then walking in the ways that he wants you to walk as his child, as his, his people, <clears throat> that he's going to reject you. And not only you, but he's also going to reject your children, any of your offspring that you have. Okay? So this is very, very serious. And my message is to stop taking it lightly. Stop taking this truth walk lightly and acting like Yah is a joke. He's not a joke. And unfortunately, some of you are going to actually realize that and see that too late. The time has come to flee from the midst of the daughter of Babylon, which we all know is the location of America today. And if you don't believe in fleeing from the daughter of Babylon, this is not a debate. But for those who have an understanding of the Most High and why He's commanding us to deliver thyself from the daughter of Babylon to heed. Somber Saturday morning as hundreds of thousands wake up to sheer devastation. Thank you for coming to tune in today with So the Days of Noah. Yeah. With me, um, Vessel Aya, my brother Blizz. That's what's up. My Radio Chicago. Download the Support District Radio app. Uh, make sure you do that. And if you can't, you know what I'm saying, get the app. Make sure you go to supportdistrictradio.com, click My Radio Chicago, and listen live and enjoy the show. Also, big ups going out to deviatedpath.com, man. It's showing a lot of love always, yes. you know what I'm saying, while we out here doing what we do. And also, shout out to um, SKSF LLC. Um, always doing research with a smile as well. Um, our sponsor who makes sure we're here every Sunday. So yeah, them. let's get it. Let's get it. Uh, I heard we got a special guest today. Yes, we do. Uh, we have a very special guest and I'm so, so excited that he agreed to do this. Um, he is very humble and meek and has been spreading the word for years. Like somebody I've been watching, like help me grow in my walk with the most high, um, open my eyes up. I always confirm every time I'm like praying to ask the most high to show me some things. He always leads me to his videos. He has a lot of videos on YouTube, um, very powerful messages, very honest and real. And that's what I like the most because everybody try to be preachy and not honest. And he's very honest and very real. And I feel like in these days we need somebody like that, like to, to teach the word and be honest and be true. And who cares about saving the lost sheep? Okay. Okay. So I want to introduce everybody to um, Brother JT um, on his YouTube. Well, he yeah. can tell you all his information. <laughs> I want to welcome him right now. Brother JT, welcome to the show. Hey, welcome back in. And, and, and big shout out to everybody. I'm glad to be a part. And I appreciate all the little accolades. Y'all got me over here just cheating and grinning. <laughs> <laughs> y'all know I'm just, I'm just a simple and humble spirit, though. And I'm glad to be a part of the show. And thank y'all for what y'all are doing also. Hey, man, we, like you said, we, we, we all at this time where the world needs to hear what's really going on. We're we, we going to continue to speak what they need to hear versus what they want to hear. Yes, sir. We appreciate the love. We definitely appreciate the love. Uh, how long have you been in, in, in your walk? Oh, man, probably about, you mean how long have I been in teaching? Or well, what, teaching? Well, well, both. Well, uh, both. Both. I've actually been on um, YouTube probably by, well, I say almost close to 20 years now. Wow. And I, when I was the first time I was on there, it was hit so hard they deleted my page. So then I came back. But um, probably about 30 years in my conversation to be with the close, you know, close with the real wall. But I wasn't always there. You know, we all wasn't always where we at now. True, true, true. Oh, yeah. We all make our our steps, as I like to say. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a it's a process, and sometimes you gotta yeah, trust. Man. Sometimes you gotta trust the process. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, say that. Say that. That's it. That is the bottom line, right there. Yes, yeah, sir. So people think it's gonna happen overnight, but it don't work that way. Like you say, it's a process. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. So, Vessel, you know, last show we were talking about, and and as I've mentioned over the past few times. Like, uh, in order for people to get the message sometime when you're trying to, you know, uh, 
get people to get the message, you have to start from the right. day one. You have to start from the ground up. Sometimes even to 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 start off, you got to build. Bi- you got to destroy and rebuild. I should say. Yeah. You get what yes, I'm sir. saying. Uh, yes, sir. So yes, sir. we we've been taking it from the get go from Genesis. And what where would you like to start at, Vessel? Well, I was. Um, well, we started at um, this past Sunday. We were talking about um, understanding the breakdown of the fruit um, theory of how people talk about the apple and the fruit tree, and how I use the analogy like. If people think that it's not spiritual and think that it's actually literal, then why can't we just walk up to a tree now and be like, "Hey, let me eat you"? And <laughs> why? Exactly. <laughs> so. Exactly. Uh, and, and it's crazy, uh, brother JT and, and and you know Vessel. I, I it really clicked in to me. You know, prior to you know us having that discussion last week, I never really looked into the fact that the apple was symbolic of just the spirit. Don't you know when 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 God said don't partake of of that apple or don't partake of that tree he might not have been talking about a literal tree or a literal apple he was talking about of satan mm. Great point. you know i know a lot you know, of this, oh i'm sorry go ahead. no i say a lot of times i know we think in the the physical realm or we think an actual apple or actual tree but maybe the whole time, you know, and it's just my interpretation is maybe he was just saying, "Don't partake of Satan or his word or interact with, you know, with the evil that comes mm. along with Satan." Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, the thing is, I wanted to because my brother actually had a good question last week, and maybe you can um, answer his question for him. He had a question about um, if Eve had sex with um, Satan. Then was Adam, when they said that he partook in it, was he a part of the act or was he, like, how did he sin? Yeah, I, I was, I, my whole question was, JT, is like, if, if Eve was responsible for, you know, whether, you know, it was, uh, you know, the conversation with Satan or, you know, being intimate with Satan or, or whatever the act was, how did that bring Adam into the fold to where he was guilty of the sin? That's that's the question that we all want to know the answer to, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> because first of all, you made a dominant point about trees. The, what a lot of people don't understand when they study also, tree is also symbolic for people in the Bible. Tree also means people. You remember the account with the blind man? Yeah. That's, yeah. Why he, that's why he said, "I see men that look like trees." Well, when you keep studying, trees is also symbolic for people, but Oh, in my spiritual mindset, I believe that that um, Satan has sex with him because he he is he is not transferred. He is an angel of light, as the Bible says, which means you know how the Bible describes him beautiful. So I think what actually happened was that sex never really got introduced the right way between Adam and Eve coming because Satan destroyed that. So the question is, like you say, where was Adam? How he was. I've even talked to some scholars that they think they thought a threesome had went on. Mm. <laughs> you know, it's so, funny that was mentioned man, last week. That was definitely mentioned was. last mm-hmm. week. Yep. It is. That's why I say it's kind of hard to answer the question because we wasn't there. Right. But I always think his job was to protect his wife, and he knew what was right from wrong. But the thing that I always look at is because, like, when with the when God asked him, "Well, how did y'all know y'all was?" How did he even know what naked was? Yeah, exactly. You know? And, and, and I guess like it, you, say, you bring up the good point when you said that about about the tree. You know, the knowledge of good and evil. But like you say, that that tree can tree can mean more than one thing. Yep. Go ahead. Yeah, that's true. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I, I mean, I guess that's one of them things where it would always have that question mark because, like you say, we weren't there to visually see what goes on, we can only really speculate. Right, right. And you know what? In my spiritual mind, I always just picture because it was a garden. So a garden being so big, it's like did Adam wander off somewhere? You know, was was he tending to some animals? I don't know. Right. (laughs) (laughs) 
But you know what, brother JT? I was talking to my brother um, the other actually I had told, sent my mom and my brother a message the other day after we had did the show. And like the uh, Ruha kept play, play, uh, placing on my heart the song Secret Garden that Quincy Jones did with um, Barry White. Uh, and and so yes, and he and it was just like clear as day. It's like if you really want to know what happened in the garden, Satan always puts it in our face. And when I actually the lyrics to that song, it was just like Ooh. open my mind. Like wait a second. Satan been putting it in our face the whole time. But we don't look at things spiritually. We always look at it physical. So physically, you're not really seeing the real message of what's being put out there. And we know that, especially Quincy Jones is a channeler, and he didn't did some things. And so his soul, so oh, yeah. they always you put know, it out there. Because it's me all in the head with taking it out. But many, many years of my heritage, I've never even thought about that until you just said that now. Wow. Yeah, it just literally hit I me. I played that song, I don't know how many times. Just like like we always talk about, like, just get caught in their music and don't even don't be chasing them lyrics. Yeah, you just we just do away with that one. Go ahead. Yeah, you. That's why I said, you have to look at the words. Like the words is so like just sitting when he was saying like come into the garden and they was talking about I want to know your secret. Um, the woman was asking what is the secret and I'm like it's all right there. Wow, right. I n- I never looked at it from that way either. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Definitely wow. never looked at it from that way. That's powerful, sis. That's powerful. Yeah, I'm just like... Yeah, because when you, when, you, when you break it down, this is why even as a little kid, that doctrine never made sense to me. Mm-hmm. When I when I get to the point where it says, the Bible says the serpent was pleasing to her eye. See, that, that, that never had looked to me. Who's going to be that fascinated out looking at a snake? <laughs> <laughs> you know... But then when you read the description, he's supposed to speak and cut his one in the field. And it's just, the, the characteristics of a snake is just bound right up with who the devil really is. Right. And I always tell people, you got to get past the symbol. He got all over the name. He's known as a dragon, but he don't look like a dragon. Exactly. Yeah. Because I, I remember, you know, I'm saying, you know, and, and of course, you know, coming up, you know, as a Christian, I, I remember, you know, even the way they described them back in the day or, you know, right. then they had described them as one of the most beautiful angels ever. Come on, man. You get what I I'm saying? What happened, what, well, what happened? The, the, the devil so slick, they start brainwashing all of us with these movies. Every time you see the devil, what it look like a beast with horns coming out of his head. Yeah. And they yeah. put that image in our minds so we can really focus on what he's not. Exactly. So maybe just his actions were snake-like actions. Maybe he was never really a snake because they said he was one of the most beautiful angels. He was musically inclined. He, you know what I'm saying? He was all that. And, and check this out. When he lost his position in heaven, he didn't lose his power. He kept that same power. You know that God didn't really strip his power. He kept that same power when he brought it to the earth. So sure he's still did. he's still the he's still the master of music because a lot of our music the 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 messages in the music today aren't the greatest messages in the world. Ooh, come on. But people still gravitate to that to those different forms of music for whatever pleasure. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are vain about their looks. You know what I'm talking about the looks run the world now. If you if you ain't right. getting some implanted or some blowed up, or if you ain't wearing the extensions, or if your body don't look like this, it's like it's all about the look and it's all about the music. Vain glory. That's right. Vain glory. Vain glory. And that's why I love y'all, Taylor, because if you don't understand in the days of love, you don't understand where we at now, and you so don't understand what's the trouble. Yeah. And then when you go back to it, it's really been all about the bloodline. Mm-hmm. That's why I always say, Mary came and done what Eve's supposed to have done. That's why he had to choose the birds to come to. Eve had already been careful with it. It makes so much sense to me. Yeah. <laughs> y'all just let me know what y'all think about that. I agree, because even if you look at how, because Eve messed that up, even if you look at even Abel ended up having to get killed. 
And that bloodline, I think it's, well, a lot of people even realize the backstory even about what, how Satan kept on coming to Cain and telling Cain all kind of stuff, telling Cain, I love you, and he, they don't love you, and look how they treat him better, and he think he's better. See, I didn't know that. See, a lot of people don't know that because they only just stop at Genesis, and Genesis don't go into depth. And that's why I tell people, you limit the most high when you keep him capped at the books that they approve to go into the Bible. It's more than that. That's why I tell people, you have to look past of what they put in your face. It's wow. deeper than that. Because he came, you learned that Satan kept on coming to Cain and kept on talking to Cain. He was telling Cain all type of stuff. I love you. I'm there for you. He was right there with Cain up until Cain killed Abel. Then when he killed Abel, Satan was nowhere to be found. Wow. Literally. So you under, start realizing. Class, classic, classic, cla a classic move of the devil, though, mm -hmm. or of Satan. Yeah. To, to, to geek you up and, and to keep you... You know what I'm saying? To send you off, basically. That's what we it call it in the streets. Uh, to have, you know, you, that, that was the send off, to geek you up and to have you believe in a certain thing. And then when it's time for the punishment, he's, he's nowhere to be found. Right. And, and the biggest thing that most people overlook is that Cain was the first Adam never stood a chance. And he couldn't, and you know, he can sing like you just said, big brother. The, the music, when you study the word, it shows about his pipes. He was blessed with all that. Yep. He was the music. He was the master of ceremonies, basically. That's <laughs> it. I like that. He was brother. Yeah, yeah, me too. Can you think about the ceremonies now? Yeah. yeah. And, and now. And like I say, when you just think about. Everything that we're exposed to as far as TV, as far as music, uh, everything, even social media, everything is so demonic and, and everything is just so, it's so shallow. You get what I'm saying? It's just, it's, it's us pitting each other against each other. It's, it, it's displaying, you know, these foul messages. The music is, you know, pumping out these foul messages. Nothing is of, you know, well, very very slim pickings of it is of something wholesome or of something nurturing or, or of something good. You know, the, the most uh, of it is just teaching us how to do evil out here. To go against yeah. the most high. Because once again, we, let's go back to John. What John called him, what they say in the Bible, he is known as the prince of the power of the earth. Air, yep. And this what, this what blew my mind years ago, big brother. When I, when I, I never thought about that. But then something hit me. I know it was the Holy Spirit. Now I didn't know what it was then because I was too young. But I said, what? I said, what's in the earth? Satellites. Mm -hmm. Cell tower. Communication. So if he's known as the prince of that, that's where he do his most dangerous work at. Wow. That's why you can't even put the TV on without seeing a naked commercial or, you know, looking on Google. It's always something. Like you just say, negative popping up because he travels through those highways. He yeah. travels through those movies. No cell phone, even video games, you name it. But all that is a form of a communication to get your eye and your mind attached to it. Wow. And, so the, and, then, and what the Bible say after that, he blinded all the minds of the unbelievers. So what we doing here right now, we can already understand that half of the people in this world don't want to hear it. And mm -hmm. they're going to call us stupid for believing in the serpent seed doctrine <laughs> because all this was hidden from us. But see, we don't want to talk. Yeah, true, 
True. Yeah, and, and, and you made a good point. Like you say, everything you turn on is is of, of something just just negative. We even got to the point to where even in, even in actual real life, instead of helping somebody, aiding somebody, we we'd rather pull out a phone and and and, and video record it and upload it on social media rather than to offer offer a hand. It it was a young lady that lost her life in Chicago a few weeks back on the CTA because she jumped down, she dropped her phone, and she dropped jumped down to get the phone in. Granted, a lot of people say, no, she shouldn't have jumped her butt down there. But you know what's more disturbing about it, brother? They clearly show people on the platform at the time, and she's reaching, and she's like, I got kids, like, help me. And do you know nobody uh-huh. reached out a hand to help this young girl? Wow. Nobody, nobody tried to pull her up. I mean, you and it's, it's able bodied men standing right there. They have it on Instagram. They have a page on Instagram I came across the other day where they just showing her body just sitting right there and people on there commenting and laughing. And I'm like, how sick uh, is this world? Like, how can you laugh at something like that? Because we we to the point to where and 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 it, and it says it in Revelation and, and unfortunately I guess you know coming up when you read Revelation and I made note this this to my sister the other day I told her I say most of us think that we'll never see the days of Revelation when we was reading it as kids we thought oh that's something that you know when the world once we pass and you know that's something that's gonna happen like thousands of years down the line but the fact of the matter is we living through it right now. To the point where there's no compassion in the world, very little. Nobody cares. Everybody's out to outdo each other and show each other up. And we all out here working and hustling and trying to do the best we can. And and nobody is bigger than the next person. But we all trying to show that we got one up on the next person. Right. That's an important big brother. I wanted to ask you, JT, to explain more about with the bloodline because I think what people, if they, because they may think it's stupid with the serpent seed, but I've come to realization that I don't care what people think. I'm here to do the most highest work, get the lost sheep, not these Pharisees that think they know everything, who still they don't realize they lost. But that's another story for another day. But I wanted to get more into the bloodline because when people realize why the bloodline had to be corrected. And that's why Yeshua came back or came in the first place and what Mary had to do that Eve didn't do. Right. Because, you know, it makes so much sense. Okay, let's, let's, just, let's just be talking about them. Let's, let's go back to those fallen angels when they came to earth. Bible was saying what? They saw the daughters of men mm-hmm. and saw that they was fair. We all know what fair means and then, you know, then he said they slept with him. Yep. So that's where your job, that's where your nephews come in at. This is what most people don't pick up on. Is, 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 that's why I say, man, I love y'all. Tight in the day, you know. If Christ himself out his own mouth said, that's what the days are going to be like before he returned. Hmm. So we got to rewind and go back to these days. So they slept with the women. Then when they got past the women, they start, they start messing with every beast of the field. Mm-hmm. That's why all the other animals, except for what got on the ark, was destroyed. Because they wanted their own bloodline so bad that they started messing with the donkeys, the dog, you know, whatever was out there. We just some yeah. other animals. But the rest of those animals was no good. Because I get this question all the time. God is so loving. Why would he wipe out all them animals? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Everybody wants a human being. Everybody ain't human now. This is the point they don't want to talk about. Yep. If, they, if he said it's gonna be like those days, so when he said they was intermarrying and partying and mixing, as the Bible say, most people from their corner mindset, they don't think that the Bible is just talking about regular people. Yeah. That's not what he's talking about. Wow. That's why they would never have a chance at the kingdom because they already they lost that. They have. They, and then look, look at what Paul said in the New Testament. They start loving the creation more than the creator. Mm-hmm. People start worshiping animals. Yep. Mm. But my point is, back in the days of Noah, if you if you understand that, then serpent seed doctrine which makes so much sense. So they say, wait a minute. I find grace in one man. We all know who he was. Noah. That was the only true one left. Noah family. After that, 
That's why people say, well, JT, how was that giant before the flood and after the flood? Because water don't kill the spirit. Hmm. I keep teaching people that. You can't drown the spirit. Yeah. You can't kill the soul. That's the only thing left to you when you go. Even the book of Jude says some of them were chained down. Okay, but some of them went, well, they, that should bring a question. Okay, Mr. Susan, where's the rest of them? Yeah. Real talk. And you know what? Constantine, I always say, is the perfect movie if you don't believe that water doesn't kill a spirit. Because even in Constantine, he has to be drowned. And his, think about it, he didn't die. But that's how you opened up a whole nother realm. That's why I tell you, you have to look at the signs. Because Satan always put it out there in your face. But he knows that you're so we're so blinded that we're not going to pay attention. And we think, oh, it's just, it's just myth and it's not real. It's like, where do you think all this stuff come from? It's been going on from generation to generation. This, this stuff has been passed down, but people still think that it's not real. They and Everybody think that everybody is human now. They're not. Everybody is not human. Like, if people don't even realize some of the things you see people doing, and even with the bloodline of seeing how Satan still to this day is trying to change the bloodline, when you get to the point where they're telling you that there's no such thing as gender. Man. Right. Man, come on, come no on, gender. <laughs> that just tell you right there. I just read an article earlier where I didn't know what it was, and people was like, "What is it?" And everybody was like, "Well, it's the fact that they was able to do some kind of breach." But I'm like, "Y'all not even looking. That thing is not even human. Some of your favorite celebrities not even human. They're a siren, but I'm not even gonna go there." I right. feel like I just feel like with 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 everything you know over the history of time, and, and you know from how you say. uh you know, adding things and taking things out of the Bible to, you know, right. to the media, to everything. I feel like they're just trying to confuse us with everything, man. I, yeah. I, I feel like, yeah. and confusion creates chaos. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. And think about this, big brother. Since, since we came into the world, you get old enough, what they do? You get sent to elementary. Yep. I just said this in one video. You get taught white history. Not Bible not history. Out of your whole life. If you didn't get it on your own, how did you get about Bible history? It didn't come from high school. It didn't mm-hmm. come from middle school. It didn't come from college. It didn't come from elementary. So my point is, all that time, they have had time to put that the image of what we are really not. They gave us a, a fake picture of what Jesus supposed to look like. They, they kept our identity here. So if we don't get out there and study on our own, let me tell you something. My older folks, they didn't know it. They folks didn't know it. So generation after generation, we have we have been believing the same thing. It's not hard that nobody gonna tap into the truth like what we doing here. And then you go back and tell your family, they gonna cuss you out. Mm-hmm. What you talking about? Well, you wasn't brought up like that. Girl, where you get that foolishness from? Have you ever studied, Mama, Daddy? Have y'all ever studied? No, but that's stupid what you talking about. We so quick to put down what we won't even study. Yep, because we taught not to question anything, and we, t- and we and we and we and we, sp- we spoke about that the other day too. Like how we always taught, don't question God, don't question your parents, don't question this. But it's like if I realistically got to question it within respect, what's wrong with asking questions? Mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. They literally beat the fear. Yeah, even even back in the in, in the slave days, it was don't question master. Mm-hmm. You do as I say, right. not as I tell you. But see, I mean, you do the, as I tell you. Not, but if you, you know, look at the the, the funny thing about that, because the Most High tell us that He's not the uh, author of confusion, and He didn't give us a spirit of fear. So if He didn't give us a spirit right. of fear, but power, what did they do? They beat fear into us and took away our power. Hmm. It's right there. It's right there. How you gonna tell me to study and show myself approved, but then when I ask you a question, you got a problem? Man, <laughs> you better hit it on the head. That's that's that, that's that's kind of like contradictory. That's contradictory to even when you went to elementary school or high school or college. When you studied or when you heard a lecture, then guess what? You had questions behind the lecture or what you studied. So how is it that we can study about God or or these different you know religions, but we can't question? I was taught that same way. Boy, don't you ever question God. That's a lie. <laughs> it's, it's, the, the biggest part is when you say fear of God, most people will take that the wrong way. Mm-hmm. They think you're talking about a fear like, well, you know, if you don't serve him, he's going to strike you dead. So they get fear like that. 
what the spirit of the Bible is talking about is a fear of reverence. You honor, you respect. Yeah. It's, it ain't you can't question God. It's the way you question God. Job did it. David did it. Hezekiah did it. It's just the way they did. Remember Hezekiah? He told Hezekiah, get your house in order. You about to die. Yeah. Hezekiah, he didn't, the Bible said he reminded the guy, wait a minute, he told me. What's you mean? I'm questioning you. Why, why you want to kill me? And, and when he, after he questioned God, God gave him 15 more years to live. Wow. But we was taught, don't you question. I question God all the time. It's just the respect and the way I do it. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. It's better about your getting to what? Get understanding. How you going to get understanding if you don't ask questions? Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I put that is because we all have been ignorant on something. Just like I can break what you just said about this song, Speaking of God. I've been so ignorant, I ain't never noticed that about those lyrics. Yeah. Never noticed that. Look at how it come on. I can read your mind. Yep. Man, you got me, man, you got me thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> I can read your mind. That's the money. Yep. I'm the first pillar. Tell me a secret. Yeah. You know what I'm I was, we, we ain't gonna shut you up just yet. That's the that's the point. I want I want the real. I want the truth out there because so many people. It's funny. It's this guy I was um, chatting with on Instagram, and every day he posts something so about um, that the Bible is a lie, the Quran is a lie, everything's a lie, and he's going through this atheist phase. But I told him like you're not even trying to learn or seek other understanding. To see why things are even the way that it is. So I feel like now it's so many people that are searching for something because Christianity disappointed them and let them down. It doesn't make sense to them. Um, going the route of Muslim or the, these African, the African deities thing, that's the new thing. And I said, I remember when somebody brought that to me, I said, the fact that I got to sit up there. And me, and I'm not going to lie, I have, I'm lazy. I got to sit up there and fix a meal and put it there for the deity to eat. And if I don't do that, they're going to get mad. It's like people are falling under craziness because they're searching. So it's like it needs to be put out there. These questions need to be answered. And yeah. it, I just pray that it reaches people and it touches somebody's soul because there's so many lost souls out here. For real, for real, man. Hey, what we're going to do is we're going to take a small break, uh, get into some music right here, and we'll be right back. Support District Radio, My Radio Chicago. Download that Support District Radio app or go to supportdistrictradio.com. Click My Radio Chicago and enjoy. Let's get into some music and we'll be right back. Days of Noah. When I look into my son's eyes, I see me inside. When I look into my daughter's eyes, I see peace of mind. See a piece of me and mine. Keep the seed alive. We just need a vine. We just need God. We just need a sign. Signal symbolize. Lead us from the sky. Give us wings to fly. Oh, yeah. Next generation on deck. Gotta raise them up. Oh. Like plants, make a concrete rose go fast, little black top child. Be mine, but keep the black cigar at your mouth, D-A-R-E. No truth or dare, keep the narcotics up out of your air. Be sober, or you're gonna say if you knew back then what you know while you're older. Just dirt off your shoulder, with a clean slate, you ain't gotta live like Joe Dirt. Tell the youth they gotta grow first, instead of trying to be grown, tell them grow what they know first. Yeah, knowledge is power, tell the youngest get strong first. Get strong first. Our sons, our sons they the legacy. Next generation. Our daughters, our sons, they the legacy. Next generation. All the, all the fathers, all the mamas, we need to help them see greatness. Our, our daughters, our sons, they the legacy. Next generation. We need to help them see greatness. 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 Yeah. Our, our daughters, our sons, they the legacy. Yeah. Our daughters, our sons, they the legacy. When I look into my son's eyes, I see the truth of God. When I look into my daughter's eyes, life beautifies. Beauty eats the mind, truth create the wise. You should teach your child, truth defeat the lies. You need God's food to feed the mind. Milk and meat, got a nourish, got to eat up. Yeah, like two fish, five loaves, let them all eat and grow up. Like plants, let them be fruitful. They don't know they roots, they beautiful. Knowledge of self is crucial, but to know God is beyond the views. Take the kids from the church where the gods are unusual. Death to the idols, don't let them lure you. No 
sir. Oh, you're gonna introduce evil to the little people you're supposed to cover. Protect and watch over. Even babies need a role model when they in a stroller. Train a child to be grown, learn. Instead of trying to be grown, tell them grow what they know first. Yeah, knowledge is power to the young and get strong first. Get strong first. Our sons, they the legacy. Fix generation. Our daughters, our sons, they the legacy. Fix generation. All the fathers, all the mamas, we need to help them see greatness. Our daughters, our sons, they the legacy. Next generation. We need to help see greatness. 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 Yeah. Our, our daughters, our sons, they the legacy. Yeah. Our daughters, our sons, they the legacy. Yeah. 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 Welcome back to So the Days of Noah with me, Vesua Ya, my brother Blitz, and I guess um, brother JT. Brother JT, man, he been on it today. Yes, yes. Been on it. It's refreshing to hear some uh, talk from the big homie, man, and just, you know, that knowledge, man. And like you say, uh, he's doing videos all over YouTube and just spreading the message out here, man. You know, uh, what, 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 what changed your mind, brother JT? What, what made you you know, begin to question and begin to seek different when you were raised in, in you know, were, were you raised, you were raised in Christianity, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What What was the, the, the point to where it was like, nah, this, it, it's got to be more? I got a child of a And what really got me is the way Christians live. Everybody trying to be a Christian, the dope devil, the hoes, the prostitutes, the thug, whatever. But that's what started getting to me. I'm like, okay, if this is the kind of God they serve, I don't want no part of Christianity. Because there wasn't no repentance in everybody. Everybody was just doing what they want, and they would go to church and stay the same when they left church. Mm -hmm. I had so many questions, brother. I was like, but nobody had answered. And that's why I had to get out of the church building to really understand the church itself. And I ain't talking about the beard and that. And once my, my God opened my eyes, brother, and once my eyes was open, I ain't never cared nothing else for Christianity. Right. I don't, I don't have a problem with people that call themselves a Christian. I just don't. Right. I, I've done the studying, and, and, I, and it made so much sense. And if you don't come out of that, because see, the thing I've learned in Christianity, most of what they teach in the seminary school, watered down traditions of men, doctrine. They're not gonna get into this week like what we talking about right here, and that's what made my, you know, made my mindset want to change because I'm like, I need some meat. I need to find out the truth. I need, I need to get some some answers. Like like he was saying earlier, and I had to get those. And once I started getting them answers, I hated everything I was talking about being brought up. But then at the same time, I'm glad that I was taught this stuff because now I know the truth and I can take that truth and go against what was them lies they thought was about. True, true. Hey man, at any point. But then, you... then on top of that, I got tired of my lifestyle. See, I don't have no problem talking about me because I'm from the streets too. I grew up in the in these hard streets out here. I got tired of watching everybody die. Yeah. I got so far apart from the time in my life, but I felt like I was so lost that I, I, I didn't know which way to go. And when you see people get shot up all the time, you know, people say the dope to their own mama, crazy stuff like that. It, it, see, I use the hood to, to to my advantage of good because I use all the negative to turn it into the positive. That's mm -hmm. why I'm still right now, I'm still in the hood. Man. And I have love and patience for them because I remember where I was. Mm -hmm. I can't be on, on, on radio talking about I ain't never got drunk before, I ain't never slept with somebody else before. Yes, they, we gotta, if we don't keep it real in the reach people, we gotta keep it real with ourselves. Yes. Tell folks you gotta how we be transparent. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, I was saying you got you to gotta be transparent. Like you were saying, if yeah. we're going to reach people, we got to let people know, like, hey, I've been through the same struggle. I ain't, yeah. I ain't yeah. always been who I am today. You get what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't did some dirt out here. You know what I'm talking about? I, like you say, we are from the streets. We from the hood. And, and, and yeah. to walk this walk is not to get into this walk and pretend like you're better than somebody. It's to share your, on, your struggles and your stories and to let them know, like, hey, I was once of that cloth, too. 
I was at once out here doing wrong and, and harming my brother and, you know, looking for every woman that I can jump in the bed with. You know, you got to let people know, look, I, I've been there. Because if you always talk like you above people, nobody wants to hear that. Nobody want to hear you preaching at them. But they'll sit back and listen if they can relate to your story. Come on, man. Come on. That's why I love that question you asked me. What, was, what, was my, what made me change? What was my breaking point? See, I don't know if I can share that testimony in my life. What made up? And I'm going to tell you, when God really showed up in my life is when I was wrongly convicted of rape. Man, when I say God showed up and wiped away everything, slate clean, he knew I was innocent, I never seen the power of God like that in my life to that, high, to that extent. And I said right then, I can never turn my back and stop serving. I didn't, even, bro, I didn't even need a lawyer. Man. I was all over the internet. You can put my name in, and you can you, you put my name in the internet back then, and show up JT as a stick with the rape. Wow. I'm, I'm looking like that online, and God just wiped all of this stuff for me. Wow. That's got to be, and, I, and that's, and that's, and that's that's got to be terrible. That's got to be a terrible feeling, man. I know how it feels for somebody to call me a liar when I know I'm telling the truth. So to try to put an act of something like that on somebody when you know you ain't did it, when you know you're telling the truth. And like you say, the only person that can pull you up some, pull you out of something like that is God. Because you know these people yeah. will make an example out of you and fry you for something that you didn't even do. Come on now. Come on. And that's why I had to really learn the power of forgiveness. Well, mm-hmm. I'm gonna tell you something. I had to run it. I had to run into that same woman that, that lied on me like that a couple of years ago when they took this store over here by my house. They opened the store, but she was the first one in there working on the cash register. Man, you know, you don't even know what went through my mind. <laughs> I can only imagine the human side of you, you know, and, and granted, and, and we, we all know our spiritual side is strong. But the human side, when that kicks in, and you probably wanted to react in every way you could have. But, you know, you being stronger spiritually probably saved her from anything you wanted to do to her in your human side. Right. Because right. at the end of the day, you're still a human. Amen. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Well, I see it. People tend to forget just because you walk in a certain walk or because or you changed your life. That guess what? I still have. I'm still a human being, and I still got feelings, right. and I still have them days where you know my my spirituality ain't all the way a hundred percent every day. You get what I'm saying? Right. I'm a work in progress, and I'm a fall sometimes, and I'm gonna make bad mistakes sometimes. But you know right. what? As long as you seek the Father and seek the truth, you get what I'm saying. He he can he can deliver you from whatever, man. And I'm yes, just sir. glad. I'm glad. As a brother who sees what you're out here doing, I'm glad God was able to pull you up out of that because you're not deserving of that, brother. Appreciate that. And you know, you just made me think. And that's why I tell people all the time, well, especially if you claim the Christianity. But people, they, they get the word meek and weak mixed up. And I always tell people, don't take for a second because I'm meek that I'm weak. Yes. Because like you say, I mentality, you can go back street in a, in a minute. Yeah. I always tell people, you might not be where you used to be, but you ain't but you ain't but a step from where you used to be. If somebody rubbed you the wrong way. Exactly. But I said, even Cardi Crack was not weak, she was meek. That's the difference because you humble, but at the same time, that same Christ stole out some crazy words from the Pope. That same Christ has some disciples that was ready for whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, oh, like, God, God breeds soldiers too. God, Come on. God, don't, don't think because, and I, and I have to tell people all the time, don't think because uh, a person is walking a certain path or because they pray or because they give their yeah. life to God that God don't tell us at the end of the day to defend ourselves. Or to protect on, yourself. Like, no, he didn't say be a fool. That's right. They, they, they better go back and read when he cracked open that whip in that, in that jump. <laughs> <laughs> like, so that showed the side of him that was angry like that. Yeah. Or uh, when he would say something like, you rule the Bible, you hypocrite. You know, in this language, man, that was like this. So yeah. When he called that woman a dog, and people be talking about well, you should leave. You should use bad language. I have to remind people. Do you think they language was all that in the Bible? 
just because you read the English version, I bet you, I bet you David and Paul them custom folks that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know they did. <laughs> <laughs> you know they did, you know. Uh, but, again, we, we, we have to remember that we can't take everything of the literal sense. And when they put That's certain right. things in the Bible or they say certain things a certain way, hey, they've been cussing forever. We didn't create cursing today. You and know? cursing is their word. A lot of people don't even realize even some the words that we use, the English language is nothing but a, a language of spells and curses. And once you understand right. the power that we have that the Most High gave us, that is our words. And so that's why they right. gave us a language. It's just kind of like in a story when it was with Moses, um, when he was freeing uh, the Israelites. Out of the land of the captivity. And I forget what's his name. I can never remember his name. When he was trying to put a curse on them, he said, we can't curse them, but we can teach them. We can make them curse themselves. And it's basically what we're doing now. We're cursing ourselves with this English language. Because we still don't even understand the language that we speak. Because it's not our native tongue. Yeah. Well, first of all, people need to learn difference between cussing and cussing. Yes. That's a big difference. Big difference. Yeah, it really like is. Like if I was telling you, you know what, Susan, man, what the hell is what you talking about? Oh, JT just cussed out. Now, if I say, you know what, Susan, I pray that you wind up in hell. I just <laughs> spoke a curse on you. Yep. Big difference. Yeah. People got to listen to the word, though, bro. They got to listen to the word yeah. and, and and how people you know. say things. You know? Yeah. People like have, people have selective bro, hearing. You know, and like if I say, big bro, you're a beast on that radio station. If you ain't brought up with my language, you don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, he's, he's saying, are you an animal? <laughs> <laughs> you got to understand. Are you a beast on that? You, boy, you a beast playing and rapping and stuff. People, people, if they don't know that, your culture. Oh, man, let me shut up. That, that is going to a whole other thing. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. You got to know how to break it down. You got to know how to decipher what a person is saying, you know. You got to be able to communicate with the masses. Even in our race. On people, we have our own language. If you was brought up in the hood, then you speak hood. <laughs> you know? But if you ain't from the hood, you don't know what that brother talking about over there. You don't know what some of that slang and like is, you just don't know. Say, bro, keep on talking, you're going to get your wig split. Somebody don't know that. What are they talking about? Are they talking about cutting her or fighting him? <laughs> <laughs> if I, uh, they talking about doing some harm to, to you. Yeah. I just wanna tell you, man, it has been dope having you in the building today. And you know what I'm saying, just like I say, hearing the message that you bring forth, brother, I wanna tell you to stay encouraged, stay doing what you do, you know what I'm saying, stay strong in your walk. And you know I'm talking about you know evade all the haters and the naysayers. Just just keep yeah. doing what you do, brother. Hey, that's so much love and the charisma. Yes, I'm sir. I'm gonna say the same back to you. Hey, y'all keep doing the same thing y'all doing through as we continue to grow and try to help many as we can, man. Before it's too late. Yep. How can the people find you on social media or just get in tune with the movement? Like, if they want to follow you, if they want to bring you out for speaking purposes, anything they want to do, man, and just, or just get in tune and just, you know, be able to, you know what I'm saying, hear some of your knowledge and, and some of your word. How, how can they get in tune with you? Uh, most of my stuff is on YouTube. When you're going up, you can see my email address and all this stuff. And that's, that's I'm not... I, I will say this, I ain't on Facebook, I ain't on Twitter, I ain't on Instagram. Okay. For a reason. I left all that. Well, I left was on Twitter. I had Facebook account, but I had to get off of there. It was, that's a whole it's story, evil. It I'm will capture on, your soul. There you go. There you go. You will find I'm your... All this social media website I'm on is YouTube. Yep. That's what's you know, up. So that's what's anybody up. Anybody want to reach me, they can just type me into row 24. You'll see about a million videos. <laughs> like... <laughs> Like Sister Susan was saying, but you know what, bro? I, I want to say this for I close. When I first got on YouTube, what I'm doing now, that wasn't even my purpose. I didn't even know about it. I was just on there teaching people how to play the piano, you know. Mm -hmm. And the, 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 uh, it's a video I did called "The Night God Told Me to Stop Doing Piano." Before. After that video right there is what led me into doing this right here. If He told me to stop doing that. I got something greater for you to do. 
And that's why I'm able to reach uh, a lot of people through the Holy Spirit and meet people like y'all. If I'm going to start doing the piano, I'm going to never meet y'all. Right. If y'all care about no piano, you ain't going to come to my face. <laughs> and, and, and guess what? We would have never had the pleasure of meeting you, brother. And, and this is this this may be the first time, but this is the last time that we join each other in conversation and on these airwaves and just you know spreading the word. Period. Right, right, man, amen. Y'all got to tell Sister Susan. Y'all hey, just let me know. Now, now we know our child said Sister Susan. Yes. I thought, child, <laughs> I thought he was saying. I thought he was. You know, time See, I thought you was ahead because this we were talking about the other day. I was like, uh, I asked my brother, I was like, is Texas ahead? He was like, yeah, they about an hour ahead. I was like, oh, okay. So I'm thinking, not realizing we are in the same tab zone. <laughs> so that's cool. <laughs> that's why I kissed you and said, I'm waiting. You know, I'm waiting on 2.30 because right now it's 2.25. Right. 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 Well, okay, we got this. Okay. Oh, also, I was going to ask you, could you spell out your um your name so they can look for you on YouTube? And also um tell them not to, with the commercial thing as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, the way you spell my name is J-A-R-R-E-A-U. And the letter 20, I mean, and the number's 24 behind it. But yeah, those ads, those commercial ads is the way we generate money on that through the Google AdSense account. So if you look at my page, um, in the video, before the video play, if you let those ads play, that's the way we generate money. Where you don't have to come out your own pocket. All you got to do is just let the ads play, and we generate money like that. So right back in the mix. So you ain't got to worry about time, or you don't have to worry about coming out your pocket. <laughs> exactly. You say the commercial well, is your time. <laughs> yeah, I just made about 15,000 churches mad with that. <laughs> Especially with that Bella Cat. They love going to Bella Cat and using that as a way to get money. <laughs> yeah. Because I have a lot of people that say, well, I want to donate, but I don't, you know, I'm not working. I say, fine. Just, just, just sit in your room and let the computer play. <laughs> you feel me? I say, you can't, you can't beat that. Yeah. You can't. And that's what we do. We take me and my wife, we take that account. And there are people online that we don't need help. They, you know, they send emails. Hey, I need food. I need money. I need. I ain't got no job. And we don't call out no names. We just do it. And so I, even with y'all radio station, y'all need our account, Facebook, whatever. Hey, don't hesitate to be like, because see, I believe in investing in my brothers and sisters. I believe that. And I'm going to have to get on soon because she be acting like she don't want to accept nothing. <laughs> I was just about to say cause I'm going to say that I'm going to say that while we lie you better say that like that we have not because we ask not Ooh. you better tell us we have, to under, we have to understand God put us here to be a blessing to one another if you think God going to go outside and just throw some, some money down go out there and just go throw your hands up right now and see how much going to fall we are a blessing to be a blessing to each other he, he knows who's the sin to you, the right way, you know, the right spirit. Yeah. But you got to watch out for them devils, too. Yes, So absolutely. I'm going to let y'all know I don't never have a problem with it. And investing and, and, hey, I don't care what it is. If you said in T-shirts on that radio stage, let me know I'm giving me some. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank yes, sir. you. Appreciate it. We appreciate the support, man. And uh, we just want to, like I say, just keep going, brother. And uh, anything you need on your end, if you ever need just an outlet, an extra outlet, because we know you got plenty of them. But if you ever need an outlet just to come and, you know what I'm saying, put a message out or say something intricate to the to the, to the the whole journey, you know what I'm saying, you you know, we you got us right here. Hey, man, gosh. Yeah. Do, y'all, do y'all have any? Well, I know Sister Susan got a page with uh, Big but You got anything else you do besides the radio station that I can look at? Or you just pretty much doing everything on there? Just pretty much doing everything on, like, uh, the regular social media due to – the radio station, but I do have a, a YouTube page. It's a uh, Shy Blizz in the number one, C H I B L I Z Z in the number one. And uh, you know, what I'm saying right now it's just music on there. But I, I'm looking to okay. do some other things like posting some of the shows so people can go check out the shows and you know just check right. out different things like that. Now y'all remember y'all heard this here. <laughs> And before you go, I just want to end the um, show with the poems uh, that my brother, he sent another one is. So I do want to um, read this one real quick before we go. It's called Truth. And it's, love is self-made, but 
No, love is since made, but since made, it's been betrayed as false adver- advertisement. Giving your all while receiving nothing in return. Like saying we love someone to death, but forget when they're gone. So when will we learn to adjust or just stop demonstrating our feelings and start paying attention to the signs and symbols like emotions, the spiritual, the mental, before we give our all to a particular? Fear of heartbreaks, not knowing how many more you can take. Life on hold, supposing that all love is fake. But it's not just follow your heart and don't let your mind take its place. I felt the pain you feel. Suicide is real. Believe me, don't take them pills. I did that twice, being upset with life, with no one to turn to, so I can't take advice. Living in darkness every day, praying for light, with the will to live and a heart to fight. Reggie wow. B. Reggie B, man. Salute to Reggie B. As I always say, keep your head up, man. And you know what I'm saying? Keep fighting that good fight, brother. So, uh... I want to thank everyone for tuning in with us again, and also shout out to Soldier for y'all. Soldier, uh, uh, we we're gonna be right back all together again. So I just want to give her a shout out as well, and thank everyone for tuning in with us this week. And um, again, I want to thank you guys for listening every week and bearing with us, and also the YouTube support. And thank you, my brother. Thank you, brother JT, for um being with us today. And again, this is not the last time. We're working on that. We're going to keep praying, and we all come together. Well said. Well Thank said. Thank you all for, for, for allowing me on. I appreciate this. Let's build my spirit up. All right, Brother JT. Talk to you later. All right. Y'all take care, man. Thank you. Yeah. That's going to do it. Uh, so the days of Noah, and we'll see you next Sunday. Well, you, we'll, you'll hear us next Sunday, 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Right here on My Radio Chicago Support District Radio. That's it. That's when it. I found we go. Out this word of God was the ultimate word, weapon against the enemy. That's when I truly word, became free. Learning how to word, use that weapon word, saved me from a thousand deaths. Allowed me to word, live life abundantly word, beyond what my eyes can see. Meditate on His word, His word. Meditate on His word, His word. A Kevlar shield deflecting them demons in the field. A sure foundation I build to subdue my enemies, make them yield. Speak life through written prophecy. Get them up off of me, solidify my philosophy. Independent upon the economy, destroying fabricated through lies and school discussion. A collision with the firmament sustained. A concussion as they rush us with inclusion, causing mass confusion. Contusion of the brain produces strong delusion. Punch drunk from the flurry of pistol pumps, hollow points in my lungs. Shell shot from the glocks of crooked clocks, murderous one by one. As the mysteries unfold in the story.